What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm your co-host Donovan Quick, and today we're doing Keep or Cut Keon Crossin Edition. Uh, and, you know, uh, we're gonna be doing this uh, for most of the Dolphins players uh, that are kind of like fringe roster players. Um, so, uh, be on the lookout for whatever players. Uh, we're gonna be making this a playlist, so uh, maybe there's a, a member that of the team that you already thought of. Maybe we already did a video. Don't forget, go on the playlist and look it up. Maybe we've done it, and if we haven't, drop a comment below to make sure that we get your guy. Now, this is about Keon Crossan, and uh, my man is a good special teamer. He was signed for special teams. He was signed to a good contract for special teams. And he didn't play special teams as much as he, or he played more corner than we would have liked him to this season. Obviously, with injuries to Xavier Howard, with Byron Jones, to Nick Needham, to Trill Will, to Mackenzie Alexander, uh, Noah Igbenogany step, didn't step up the way uh, that most of us thought he would. Um, Actually, he stepped up better than Keon Crossan. But, hey, my two cents. Uh, that's, you know, maybe part of the reason Josh Boyer was gone because he didn't play the better corner um, when, yeah. So, anyways, guys. Uh, so, Keon Crossan did not have a good season. Uh, he actually played most of the season, as we discovered, uh, with a dislocated shoulder. Um, and, you know what? That's good on him for uh, for doing that, and I gotta say he he wasn't that bad of a tackler even with that dislocated shoulder. It was really just his coverage. His coverage was not good. Uh, he always seemed to fall back like two to three yards, especially on crossing routes or uh, or in in anything inside. Really, he just like lost him. Just lost him actually almost any route really um the only thing that he was decent in uh i would say was the zone which is kind of like weird for this defense is to have someone that's decent in zone um and he wasn't that good in zone coverage either um but you know what so he let's get into the, the nitty-gritty so we all know he wasn't good i don't need to continue going on about how he wasn't good this season the point is keeper cut him. Now, I'm gonna say cut. I think there's enough uh, players out on that market that have uh, the ability to play special teams. Um, I don't like our special teams coordinator, D Danny Crossman. I don't like him at all. So who knows You know how well that unit's even gonna do. Um, so I don't really think it matters who's there and who's not. I don't think Keon Crossan is has been significant there this year. Um, so that's the reason he was brought in, and him not even being able to you know do that on a level where I've actually noticed him on special teams. That's a cause for concern, especially since that's what he was paid come in. He was coming and paid to do that. He was coming as that special guy, special teams guy. And he played more corner. That you know, that's not on him. That's on you know injuries and everything else. But that brings me to my point: is that you don't know injuries are so unpredictable. You know, last year we had all our corners were healthy. We had Xavier and Howard. We had Byron Jones. We had Nick Needham. Uh, and and our concern wasn't for the corners. Our co safety, or it was actually for uh, our defensive line. Uh, with Raekwon Davis and other people going down uh, last year. Um, even Zach Sealer had an injury last year. And this year, it was completely different. It's the corners. But my point is, you never know what is going to happen with injuries. So I think if you're not going to address special teams, most of these good teams don't have players for special teams. They have players that are depth pieces that can come in and they can produce if you're going deep into the, the corners. If we if we went deep into our uh, linebackers this year, we had Sam McGuire and we had Channing Tindall, you know, uh, Duke Riley, I, I felt like maybe we could, uh, you know, 
retain some stability there, um, given they didn't really play our starters didn't play that well. But I don't think there would have been much of a drop off as there was for the corners. And to my point, bring in someone that can play corner better than they can play special teams. Now, Keon Cross, and I hope, I I doubt you're watching it, but if you're watching this, I hope you get healthy. I hope you can get better on the field, you know, learning under Byron Jones, learning under Xavier Howard, learning under Sam Madison. I hope you can get better. I hope you can be that guy, but you have been in the league for more than a few years now. Um, I, I don't see you personally getting beyond what you have been. Um, and I wish you success wherever you may go in the future, but I hope it's not with us. Um, and bringing it back down a little bit, uh, you know, do I think that's going to happen? Do I think Keon Crossan gets cut? I don't. He's owed a little bit too much money. Um, he said he'll be back on Twitter. He said he acknowledged the haters. He he knows. Uh, none of us have really been his biggest fan over the past like two months, three months, and so he knows that he he's he's well aware. He acknowledged the haters and he said, "You may not like it, but I'll be back." And uh, you know, maybe he is, maybe he isn't. I personally, I took that tweet as he's told he's coming back at least for camp, so he'll at least be here for camp. I think he's going to be a bubble player. I think he's going to be. On the fringe of a roster spot, on the fringe of being cut, and who knows what happens? We'll see what happens, guys. Don't forget, like, comment below. Uh, any players you guys want me to do this with? Uh, let me know what your thoughts are on Keon Cross and what the Dolphins should do with him. And don't forget, ring the bell, get the notifications for when we drop these videos, and you know, don't forget to like and subscribe on all those other videos. Hey, uh, and don't forget to check out the playlist. Uh, that this will be on. Love you guys. Be safe out there. And once again, don't forget, tell somebody you love them. Peace.